Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to return the sums of columns and rows of a data frame in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears which is called data and we can have a look at the structure of this data frame by clicking on the data frame object and then you can see that a new window appears which is showing that our data consists of five rows and three columns x1, x2 and x3 and all of these columns consist of numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to know the sums of all rows of our data frame. Then we can apply the row sums function as you can see in line 6 of the code. And within the row sums function we simply need to specify the name of our data frame. So in this case our data frame is called data. And if you run this line of code you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console five values are returned. And the first value corresponds to the sum of the first row of the data frame. The second value corresponds to the sum of the second row of the data frame and so on. So if we want to return the sums of each column of our data frame, then we can apply the call sums function as you can see in line 8 of the code. And similar to the previous code, we simply need to specify the name of our data frame within the call sums function. And if you run line 8 of the code, you can see that another vector object appears at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this time, this output shows the sums of each column of our data frame. So the column x1 has a sum of 15, the column x2 has a sum of 35, and the column x3 has a sum of 21. So as you have seen in this video, it is relatively simple to return the sums of columns and rows of a data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content and the R programming codes of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.